G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. The question in this video is how fast can you times by 11s? How fast can you times any two digit number by 11s? Because it's something you should be able to do in instantly. And I'm going to show you how right now. Okay, so what about if we had a question like 63 times 11? How would you get an instant answer to that? The instant answer being 693. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So, the way that we get our answer is this. We write our 6, that's the first part of our answer. We leave a space, we write the 3, that's the last part of our answer. And then what we do is we add these two numbers together. 6 plus 3 is 9. That's our answer. Hey, pretty cool, right? I'll give you another example. It's so easy, this. I really, really like this trick. Okay, I think anyone could do this trick. Anyone could be a genius at the uh, 11 times table. So, let's give it another go. What about, you give this one a go, what's 32 times 11? Alright, hopefully you're getting the answer of 3. We add these. 3 and 2 is 5. And then 2. 352. How did you go with that? Pretty cool, right? Alright. Is it always so easy? Okay, occasionally you need to use your brain brain cells, your neurons a little bit more and uh, get those synapses working and, and that sort of deal because occasionally you will need to carry across numbers. An example of this uh, would be, say, something like, what about 78 times 11? Okay, we write the 7 down, we go, oh, I'll get a different colour here. So we write the 7 down to get the first part of our answer. And then what we do, we have our last part of the answer here, which is the 8. And we add these guys, 7 plus 8, and we get the answer of 15. So to deal with this, because we only have this little space here, we put the 5 here, and then we carry the 1 across. So 1 plus 7 is 8. The answer is 858. Pretty good, yeah? Okay. I'll give you one more example of that, and then I'll leave you be and uh, let you, uh, I don't know, hopefully... Uh, get on and learn something even new, something different. Um, okay, what about this one? What about 57 times 11? Okay, the instant answer to that is, we get our 5, we add these two guys, we get 12, so this is going to become a 6, that's going to be a 2, and that's going to be a 7. All right. Hey, look, I said I'd leave you be, but I'll, I'll show you just a little trick that you can do this instantly in your head, uh, even even quicker if you have to carry. So you have something like uh, 83 times 11. Now, what you might notice is if these two numbers, you might look at straight away and go, they're going to be more than 10. So instead of writing an 8 here, add 1 to it, write a 9. Then what you do is you, you think, well, what was the unit's answer to this going to be? You know, it's going to be... Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11, so the, the unit's answer was 1, and then 3. And that's the way you can do it instantly in your head. Ah, look, I'm going to give you one that you can try to do in your head right now, okay? What about we do that? What about, um, oh, I've got to try and think on off the top of my head, 67 times 11. All right, so that's above 10. So we're not going to write 6 down, we're going to write a 7 down. The unit's answer to 6 plus 7 would be 13, so 3, 7. Pretty good, dude. Hey, hopefully you really like that trick. It's a great little trick uh, for doing 11 times tables instantly in your head. And what's more, this actually works for even bigger numbers than 11, as I'll show you in a video that I'm going to link right up right now. Okay, so this will work if you try to do a number uh, 7,622 times 11. A similar trick works for that. The 11 times tables are so easy. Alright, see you next time.